Marcus, you have some familiar faces here in Detroit that you saw back in New Orleans with Dan Campbell, Aaron Glenn, Alex Anzalone there on the defensive side. How much does familiarity help when you're transitioning to a whole different city and a whole new team? Uh, I would like to say it, it makes it a lot easier and just, you know, having that history and being able to see these guys and see what they've accomplished, especially, you know, last year having watched them play the Vikings and seeing it firsthand, you know. As a, a former NFC North foe, you did kind of have a front row seat to what Detroit was doing. What did you notice about these Lions last season? Uh, I really love the speed. You know, the defense was flying around, guys making plays, celebrating. It just looked like so much fun. And, you know, after seeing that, you know, it, why wouldn't I want to, you know, come and be a part of that? Based on what you know about Aaron Glenn and the speed that you saw, how much is that going to help you acclimate to this defense when it's time to take the field? I think with AG, you know, especially from what we've talked about, he said, you know, he's going to try to, you know, put me in positions that best suit me. And so from there, I think, you know, just getting out there and getting those reps, that's really going to help. A former 14th overall pick out of UTSA. What kind of mindset have you been playing football with? Mm. Sometimes I forget I was 14th, but um, the mindset really is just, you know, a lot of people said UTSA is more of an underdog and considered me as an underdog. And from there, you know, for a while I had a chip on my shoulder. And uh, pretty much as of now, I just think, you know, I try to keep the goal in my head of I want to dominate. And from there, I think that's all anybody wants, you know. That's all anybody, you know, really wants to expect too. So now I just got to go show it. Is the chip still on the shoulder? Always. Yeah. What does that look like when you're playing at your best, you're healthy, and that chip is still there? Uh, <laughs> I don't always like saying it, but it looks more like violence. But, you know, uh, I want this year for us to take the next step and uh, make that into, like, results. I heard you um, are a big poetry guy. Ooh. You watch anime? Yeah. All right. Who is Marcus off the field? Ha, uh, who is Marcus off the field? Marcus is a homebody. Marcus loves movies. Marcus just went and spent three hours watching Dune. So. Is it good? It was great. Okay. It was great. Worth three hours and you know. Wow. I sat there and I'm like, I could do this again. But um, more of a homebody. I want to, you know, get out and explore more, especially Detroit with all that it has to offer. I've gotten more off writing and more into reading. What book is, are you reading right now? Uh, Alan Watts, The Way of Zen. What would I read and take from that book? Hmm. Uh, I was talking to Dan earlier, and um, I told him a little quote. And sadly, I can't like just you know spit it back out. But what we got was like uh, basically just being in the moment. You know, if you can really fall in love with the process, the result should take care of itself. How are you feeling in the moment right now as you embark on this new journey in Detroit? Ha, nervous, nervous, like uh, nervous, anxious. Luckily, not scared. You know, it's like one of those uh, excited, you know, feelings, but the best way I can classify it is nervous. You're seven, you're still nervous? Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing. It means I want more.